Hello and welcome to another Auto Workshop woodworking video. Today I am making a handle for a fro I bought a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I needed a heavy fro because some of the wood I have in my storage needs to be cleaved in half or smaller pieces as well. But uh, the fro I had was quite small and I don't have an electrical chainsaw and honest to god I prefer a fro because a fro splits a more makes a more clean split and a clean split is a nice split and it's easy to work with so the first part is to fit the handle now this is a piece of ash i had bought from an old friend who is also well he we we went to university together and he changed course over time but i'm making the handle for the throw i'm just roughing it out with my uh, with my saw and making some general marks so I'm sawing down to roughly where where the, the line of the ring is. Now this will help me afterwards to just take my chisels and then just bang on down to the line. The good thing is that ash is a nice uh, straight wood. And we want that nice straight grain. It's easy to work with. We can easily just chop away waste, as you can see right now. Just chop, 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 chop. And we easily get the shape uh, to the size we want. Now fitting the handle afterwards took quite a while, so there is a large uh, time skip because, yeah, all the micro fitting just took a lot of time and was hard to record me standing uh, with a knife and then gently just removing a bit and a bit and a bit. Uh, so I won't show that. I also attached the fro head too early, which was uh, a bad move, but luckily, <laughs> The first time I went to use it, it started losing the head. I couldn't get it loose before, but as soon as I put a piece of lumber beneath it and I was banging on it with a hammer, it let go. So that helped me be uh, to be able to put on the the handle for real, and with a nice uh, split in the middle to make sure that the head was tightly fitted. So here you can see some of the work with the knife. The pairing of the the head, and then it's just a test fit and keep pairing and keep pairing and test fitting and keep pairing. Now after having fitted the head, which again wasn't supposed to, but I couldn't get it off at this point, the, uh, the wood was too fresh, I started working with my planes to get it down to size, because there was no reason for the handle to be so so huge comparably to, uh, to the head. So I was just working along with my standing number 5 as best I could. And getting it down to size and when i couldn't fit it i tried my best with different techniques to see if i could fit the head it didn't work but yeah tried it gave a lot of issues in insofar as the the fro head was kind of heavy and the, the shape of the the whole handle was an odd size so it was hard to to lock down the workpiece while i was shaping it and tapering with the, the chisel to get the head to fit. It's easier when you have one point that's the thickness that you roughly want than to work towards it. Also, it's a good idea to taper uh, the top of the handle. So if the if the head works itself down, it's not really a problem. It'll just fit even tighter.
I decided to try something new with the handle treatment. Normally I would just give it linseed oil and some paste wax and that would be it. But a friend of mine, the guy I bought the handle from, suggested that I instead try and burn the wood just gently in the surface, burn it, and then coat it with a thick layer of linseed oil and that should be the treatment. And the rest of it will be the grease from your hands when you're using it. So I tried that. I took out the, the torch and burned it nice. And it actually it looks quite well afterwards. As I mentioned, the first time I was out using it, the head started moving off. I could still use it, but I had to constantly reattach the head. So when I got home from using it the first time, I went in, I cut a groove into the, the handle attachment area, and I made a nice wedge out of padauk because I wanted some fun contrast, and I wanted a hardwood, and I had some padauk that I had already been sawing in. So I made this nice wedge and I started pounding it in gently and after I had fitted it with a lot of glue I left it to dry overnight and I trimmed it and the final result is a nice fro ready for use.
So here's the final result. And as you can see, I've made a leather, uh, leather sheet for it because it is rather sharp and rather dangerous to just walk around with it without a sheath. So I made it quickly in leather and with a leather string that can wrap around the head of it to easily protect it from just slipping off. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have an amazing day.